Hi everybody, Kate here, one of our physical therapists at our East Norton location. Uh, here to go over my best recommendations for warming up prior to lower extremity workout. Okay, the purpose of these exercises is to get your glute, your glute muscles, which is in the back of your hip, activated uh, so that they are participating more um, and effectively when you are doing things like squatting, deadlifting, lunging, uh, using the uh, lower extremity machines like the hamstring curl, leg press, hip abduction, adduction machine. What we see commonly in physical therapy um, are people who are experiencing low back pain, hip pain, knee pain, because their glute muscles are not necessarily weak, um, but they're not active. Um, what can happen when people have pain and when they are not moving in an efficient manner some muscles get really strong and other muscles get really weak. This can be caused by a variety of different things. But our glute muscles are a very common muscle that is inactive and not participating as much as it should. And what happens when that muscle is not activated, it puts a lot of stress on places like our low back, hips, knees, sometimes even in, in, in the ankle and foot. So the purpose of this is to make sure that they're participating. All you need for these exercises is bands. Okay, all of the exercises are to be done one to two sets, uh, 10 repetitions. The first exercise is going to be a side step. So the band is around your ankles. To make this easier, put the band higher around your knees. To make it harder, put the band around your feet. Okay, the most important thing with these exercises is your form. Okay, so alignment hips knees feet in a straight line you don't want to be here that's where people commonly fall you want to be straight line and then from this angle you kind of want to be in like an athletic position so you're sitting your butt back and you're kind of like in a little squat so that's going to go for all these exercises so the first one side step you're side stepping that's it simple as that 10 steps to the left 10 steps to the right and you're trying to maintain alignment in alignment the whole time okay so side steps number one second one these are called monster walks so you're going to start in a staggered position so that means one foot in front of the other you're going to bring your foot together apart all the while i'm staying in that nice good alignment and then you're going to go backwards together apart together apart together apart all right that's number two Side steps, monster walks. Number three, standing clamshell. So that band's gonna have to move up to your knees. You're gonna be in that same aligned position. Here, and you're kinda sitting your butt back. Standing clamshell. I'm bringing one knee at a time in and out. Knee goes inside the foot, knee goes outside the foot. Okay. As I'm doing this exercise, nothing should be moving but my knee. So notice my foot is not rolling up and down. Neither is my trunk. I'm keeping everything solid. So 10 times on the right, 10 times on the left. One to two sets. Followed by, last thing should be a mini squat. Same alignment concepts here, but in this movement, I'm gonna sit back a little bit more. The most important thing when doing a squat and trying to get your glutes more active is sticking your butt back. A lot of people have the tendency to sit straight down, which isn't necessarily bad, but if we're trying to get our glutes to participate more, shifting your weight back is a huge concept that you need to try and integrate. So sitting back. Okay, so that would be another 10, one to two sets, okay? The exercises are meant to be uh, activation exercises. So they shouldn't necessarily be done um, to the point of fatigue and you really shouldn't feel significant fatigue with these exercises. If you do, maybe just limit it to one set of everything or potentially limit the steps and the reps to five, okay? You can do these um, to strength train, to build endurance. In those instances, you do these exercises three sets of 10, four sets of 10 to the point of fatigue. But if you're just trying to get things to activate and warm up before you're exercising the rest of your lower body, 
um, you don't want to really feel a lot in the hips, okay? If you have any questions, give us a call. Otherwise, good luck.